This is the city of Leuven in Belgium. At its center stands a massive steel complex connected to a mirrored glass tower. Inside the building, people dressed like astronauts work in silence within one of the most advanced clean rooms on the planet. This is iMac. Without it, ASML simply couldn't build its cutting edge machines. Smartphones, computers, AI, and even electric cars like Tesla's wouldn't exist as we know them. In this video, we'll step inside the brain behind ASML's $400 million machines and discover why iMac is the silent heart of the world's technological progress. IMEC stands for Inter-University Microelectronics Centre and it was founded in 1984 in Leuven, Belgium. Its origin came from a Flemish government programme aimed at strengthening the semiconductor industry in the region and advancing research in microelectronics. The founders were a group of young, visionary researchers. Many had studied or worked in Silicon Valley, inspired by the technological revolution they had witnessed there. Leading them was this man, I can't pronounce his name correctly, a Stanford PhD and professor at the Catholic University of Leuven. IMEC's goal was ambitious, to create chips that were smaller, more powerful and more energy efficient. IMEC began as a non-profit organization and like many ambitious research centers, it didn't have the money to bring its ideas to life because making chips is expensive, very expensive but the Belgian and Flemish governments believed in the founders' vision, so they decided to direct most of their public innovation funds to IMEC. The initial investment was around 62 million euros, a huge bet that paid off. In 1986, just two years later, IMEC opened a 3,500 square meter clean room. It housed a 125 millimeter wafer line capable of producing 1.25 micron CMOS structures. At the time, these were the most advanced structures in the world, putting IMEC on the global map. Soon, microchip companies began collaborating with IMEC, taking advantage of its cutting edge research and development capabilities. But as partnerships grew, the Flemish government could no longer fund everything on its own. It was time to find a new revenue model, one that would allow IMEC to keep innovating without relying solely on public money. In 1991, IMEC launched the Industrial Affiliation Programme, an innovative way to fund advanced research. Here's how it works. It's a partnership between IMEC and multiple companies where everyone shares knowledge and pre-competitive research results. Chip manufacturers, equipment suppliers, and other tech firms join what's essentially a collaborative platform. They research together, exchange ideas, avoid intellectual property conflicts, and drastically cut the massive costs of developing cutting edge technologies like EUV lithography, which makes it possible to create extremely small transactions Transistors. IMEC also generates revenue from these partnerships. Companies pay to participate and, in return, gain access to intellectual property that accelerates their own projects. With this model, IMEC didn't just survive, it stayed ahead of the semiconductor industry, leading the research that shapes the future of technology. Today, IMEC is one of the most advanced research centers in the world. It leads the industry in larger wafers, advanced process nodes, and high NA EUV lithography, paving the way for chips that are smaller and more powerful than ever. In partnership with giants like ASML, Intel, TSMC, and Samsung, IMEC researches new materials, transistors, and AI chips. But IMEC goes far beyond semiconductors. It explores photonics, quantum computing, digital health, smart cities, and sustainable energy to drive startups and global innovation. It's important to note, IMEC isn't a factory like TSMC or Global Foundries. Its clean rooms are dedicated to R&D, but equipped with the same state-of-the-art tools found in a modern fab. In practice, IMEC functions as a global innovation lab connecting industry, science, and cutting-edge technology, all in one place. Now, let's talk about the role of IMEC in the success of ASML, which is the main focus of this video. ASML builds the lithography machines that produce the world's most advanced chips. But ASML focuses on constructing highly complex and precise machines, not on developing process research. That's where IMEC comes in. 
Since the early 1990s, ASML and IMEC have maintained a strategic partnership. It all started with KRF Stepper Systems, then advanced to ARF and RF Immersion. In 2004, IMEC received the TwinScan XT 1250i, a pre-commercial immersion lithography scanner as part of a 193 nanometer research program. IMEC's job was to test the effects of immersion, identify challenges, and develop process solutions. This collaboration proved crucial. It helped ASML surpass Japanese giants like Canon and Nikon, solidifying its leadership during the transition to immersion lithography. In other words, without IMEC, many of ASML's innovations might never have become reality. In 2006, IMEC played a crucial role in the success of EUV machines. These systems use an extremely small wavelength, just 13.5 nanometers, allowing transistors to be printed far smaller than what was possible with the previous generation. IMEC received one of the first pre-commercial EUV machines built by ASML, known as the Alpha Demo Tool. Its task was to meticulously evaluate the tool's performance, including resolution, imaging quality, and overlay accuracy, while identifying critical issues in the equipment, photoresist, and photomask. By 2011, the partnership advanced to the NXE3100, the pre-commercial successor to the Alpha Demo Tool. IMEC produced its first wafers using the new scanner and worked alongside suppliers like Ushio to validate its performance, aiming to increase wafer throughput and reduce defects. These efforts were crucial in proving the commercial viability of EUV lithography, paving the way for large-scale production of 16 nanometer and smaller chips. In 2016, the partnership reached a decisive milestone, the commercial launch of EUV lithography after years of testing and validation led at IMEC. This phase cemented IMEC's position as one of the world's leading laboratories for advancing EUV technology, a key step toward manufacturing chips at 7 nanometers and beyond. In the years that followed, the collaboration between IMEC and ASML evolved into the next generation, High NA EUV Lithography. High NA stands for High Numerical Aperture, meaning it can capture and focus more light with higher precision. Previous EUV systems were limited to 0.33 NA. Moving to 0.55 NA was essential to print even smaller features with sharper edges, pushing lithography below the 2 nanometer node, crucial for building more powerful and energy efficient chips. Building on these advances, in 2025, ASML and IMEC renewed their partnership for another five years. In addition, ASML committed to investing 20 million euros per year in IMEX research programs, strengthening not only technological progress, but also the positive societal impact of this collaboration. Throughout its history, IMEC has proven to be much more than just a laboratory in Leuven. It's a global meeting point where industry leaders and innovators like Intel, TSMC, Samsung and ASML come together to develop technologies that would be impossible to create alone. Its long-standing partnership with ASML perfectly embodies this philosophy. Without neutral environment and pioneering research of IMEC, immersion and EUV lithography would likely have never reached commercial viability. And the future is already happening here. With high NA EUV, IMEC is preparing the next generation of chips, powering advances in artificial intelligence, quantum computing and global innovation. IMEC doesn't follow Moore's law. It leads it. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more tech stories shaping our world.